I ordered um, the Vice Light LED license plate lights from Bimian.com. These are for the E39, E60, E38. Um, this basically this this light module um, works on a bunch of cars. I mean, as you can see, there's two different plugs in the back. This is the one for my car. That's probably for an E60, but I'm not really totally sure. Um, and these are going to be replacing these, which have been on for 10 years. Uh, last year I actually replaced the halogen lights on the inside of these with um, an LED bulb, which uh, actually, one of them has failed entirely, and the other one flickers really bad. Um, the sad part is I paid 40 bucks for those LED bulbs, and these vice -like modules, which have a built-in resistor, to prevent flashing when uh, when your car does the bulb check, um, only cost fifty bucks. So for ten dollars more, I can already tell that I probably already have a better product than what I bought last year. I'm not going to say the competitor's name that I bought. Um, however, just looking at these, um, I can tell that's actually a pretty quality part. Uh, everything about this actually looks like it's going to work pretty well for me. Um, so. Do the quick install demo on these. The only tool you're going to need for this is a flathead screwdriver. The longer the screwdriver is, the more helpful it's going to be in helping you remove the license plate lights that are in there. As you can see, there's a slot right there that, well, actually, it's designed for a flathead to go into. Uh, what you're going to want to do is push the entire assembly to the right. And then sort of tug down on it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to. This is hard to do with one hand. Uh, so here goes nothing. I've removed them before, so you can see it's kind of lifting. So you just basically push to the right, and it should release itself. Now. If, they, if they've never been, if you've never changed the bulb on a car before, uh, if these have been on, I mean, these have been in here for 10 years, but I mean, if you've never, ever, ever taken these out before, they could be a little tough, so take your time, be patient. It's very counterintuitive that you'd have to push everything to the right. You'd think they would just pop out, but um, you can see that there's a little metal clip on here, and that's actually what holds the entire thing in. So you have to basically depress this by pushing it to the right with the screwdriver. All right, installation of the vice like this assembly is really easy. See, it says L for left. That'll go obviously on the left side, and the R would be for right side. Um, so, not talking rocket science here. Simply plug in the module, and you, what you want to make sure is that this little slot is on the left side, not the right side. Um, you want to push in the right side first. And then we just want to push in the left, and that's all you do. That's literally a 30 second mod, which honestly is going to make all the difference in the world. And let me just do this side real quick, and then I'm going to turn them on and see how they look. Alright, so both the vice like modules are installed, and now I'm going to turn on my parking lights here, and should work. Yep, those are bright, and I'm going to do one more check where I actually start the car and see if they flicker like my old LED bulbs did, but these shouldn't because they have the built-in resistor. And uh, because these are compatible with the E65 series, um, you shouldn't throw a, a check bulb warning either. So, there you go. Probably one of the easiest mods that's probably the most noticeable. Um, personally, I think most lights on a car should be an LED to begin with. Uh, they're a lot more efficient, they look a lot better, and they last a lot longer. So, that's just this install. Stay tuned for more.